one of the most misunderstood things about plants is all the different plant growth hormones that are going on internally and what scientists are now trying to do is actually spray products over the top of crops putting more plant growth hormones out there and trying to get varied response. Well it's interesting Brandon we've had a chance to travel all over the world looking at high-tech production in high-value crops you know things like flowers and vineyards and vegetable and fruit production all these things are pretty interesting and the dollars per acre are just a little bit better than <laughs> corn and soybean beans and wheat that we've got on our farm. And so those guys having more gross income per acre at their disposal, they can invest in some of these new technologies and try them out a little sooner than a corn and soybean and wheat farmer. Well, can. yeah, let's put it another way. They just have more incentive to do things right. I mean, if they make one correct decision on their farm, they might have an extra $1,000 an acre in income. I'm willing to experiment. If I might gain an extra 1000 bucks per acre, that sounds like fun. But you know what? I look at corn and soybeans now as they're almost specialty crops, Darren, because it's possible to generate $1,000 in gross revenue off an acre of corn or soybeans. And yeah, by making one little decision, it's not going to improve your yield enough for $1,000 an acre, but you could sure improve it $20 or $50. Well, you definitely can. And I guess when you look at some of the other crops, they're using these different growth hormones to try to control how many flowers a plant will put on or when they'll put them on or what height that plant will grow to. They yep. can actually shut plants off so they stop growing so tall. I know that's a big concern in certain parts of the country you know with corn and soybean production yeah so we're not going to get super in depth here or anything but we just wanted to tell you about a few of these plant growth hormones and then you can start reading up on them learning more about them because this is kind of a coming thing even in corn soybean and wheat production so some of the good growth hormones that we like to discuss are acetic acid gibberellin and cytokinin the stress hormone the one we want less of would be abscisic acid so how can we make those things change in the plant what do we need to do? Well, when we're spraying different things out on the plant, like say Roundup or a herbicide, that plant has to work that through its system and kind of work it off. If you're talking about Roundup Ready corn or Roundup Ready soybeans, they don't actually metabolize that Roundup. They kind of compartmentalize it in their body. So they have to work it through their system, get it out of the way, and that causes them to use some of their resources or energy to do that. Well, that stresses the plant a little bit. Right. So in other words, what we're getting at here is simply that if you do everything you can to raise a great crop, that's awesome. And chances are you'll have more of the positive growth hormones and less of the negative. But every time you go spray a herbicide... Or you get some bad or, weather right, or it, you know any stress on the plant. Right. Any stress. Even though you say, well, Roundup and Roundup Ready crops, that's not stressful. Well, there's a little bit of stress. Okay. So the point is, even though you can't see stuff all the time, you're changing what happens with the growth hormones internally. So that's why a lot of farmers are starting to experiment with products like MegaGrow, for example, that's a combination of cytokinin and IBA, two different acids, two different plant growth hormones, and that does change some things in the plants. So there are a lot of these different plant growth hormones that research companies are experimenting with now in corn, soybeans, and wheat, but they've been using them for years in a lot of these other crops. So again, we just suggest you start reading up on this a little bit, and maybe you'll make some changes on your farm because of it. Well, like Brian said, we aren't going into super detail on a lot of these things because you know what? A lot of these products are brand new, and we're still doing research with different growth hormones on our farm, and, and we would expect that you're going to be doing some on your farm too over the coming years. The good thing about these is they can help plants grow. The bad thing is we haven't used them yet to kill weeds like our <laughs> Weed of the Week. We'll show you what will stop this weed coming up next.